Welcome to chapter 15 of my CEH material. This is Hacking Wi-Fi. We're using the Cybex book for the CEH version 9 material. So what, first, Wi-Fi is 802.11. It's an IEEE standard. It does things such as wireless is going to be the big one. has different uh, variations, uh, 802.11. A, B, G, N, A, C, A, D, all of that fun stuff. But it's basically what allows us to connect wirelessly uh, for communication. There's also infrared, there's also Bluetooth, and then there's also these other types of mechanisms that are there to kind of help prevent uh, signal degradation. Things like direct sequence spread, direct sequence sped spectrum, or frequency hopping spread spectrum. 802.11 comes in two major flavors for security, WEP and WPA. So the first variation was 802.11. It only used WAP. It used the 2.4 gigahertz. It was about one megabit per second. It predominantly worked uh, what are the basis for things like 802.A, B, I, and G. So let's go ahead and look at A. A was up to 54 megabits using the 5 gigahertz band. It came out in the late 90s. B became uh, also the standard in that same time. It was using 11 megabits, but operating at the 2.4 gigahertz band. Next, we got G. G kind of came around late 2002, early 2003, and it replaced 802.11B because G operated at the 54 megabits per second at the 2.4 gigahertz band. It said mega, or it had 22 megabits per second, but realistically G was more like 54. 802.11i is where things started coming into play for WEP being removed and slowly getting better encryption. WEP is an optional security protocol that's used for wireless, though it's pretty weak in encryption. Typically uses 3 desk cryptography or encryption, and again, it's fairly weak. Next will be our wireless LAN. Again, they're connected through wired access points that allow us to connect wirelessly to them, thus extending out the access layer uh, of the network. It connects a wired LAN, acts as a radio broadcast, as long as you have the appropriate wireless interface car, you should be able to connect to it. So how does WEP work? WEP is a symmetric key system used for authentication. It's used for guarantee integrity of data by encrypting transmissions. Each access point and client must share the same key. So how WEP works, if it's not been enabled by default, the AP allows the request to pass. If WEP, uh, WEP is enabled, then the client begins a challenge response authentication. The vulnerability is it can be picked up fairly easy by hackers, and uh, if you use it pretty regularly, it's pretty bad. Other wireless security uh, loopholes, things like war driving, that's where you're driving around looking for open wireless, or you're actually trying to collect enough wireless information so that you can break into wireless. One of the last big things we have to talk about is a site surveying, and that's where you actually you do a walk around and you see maybe what's gonna, you're planning to do a wireless deployment in a facility. You walk around the new facility to kind of see what wireless signals are already there, and if you're gonna be broadcasting over someone, or will someone be able to broadcast over you? That's part of what the site survey is there for. You're looking at things like the blueprint or the plan of the building, you're doing a walkthrough, you're identifying possible access point locations and challenge areas, and you're going to be verifying and documenting your findings. Again, this was a quick brief overview for wireless. We really didn't even touch any WPA or WPA2 or any of the encryption, but again, I've already done videos for that in my Security Plus videos and in my Network Plus videos. I want to thank